Hi, Reggie. Let's make scones. Come on in. So today we're going to make Fisher scones, and if you're from Washington, you've probably heard about Fisher scones or eaten them before. They're served at the Puyallup Fair in South King County. And my mom used to make them, they've been around since the early 1900s, and they're just delicious. So let's find out why. First thing you want to do is turn your oven on to bake. 425. So then you want to assemble your supplies and you want to put together all of your ingredients. And there's only two ingredients in this recipe, water and the Fisher scone mix. So it's really easy. And measure three quarters of a cup of water. And then gradually combine the water with the mix. So after you've combined the uh, Fisher scone and the water together, then you want to knead it five times with your hands. After you knead the dough, you shape it in a round ball, and then you separate that mound of dough into three separate mounds. And you shape those three domes into little shapes of Mount Rainier, and you press up to the top of each ball on all of the sides. And so then after you've created your little Mount Rainier domes, then you slice each dome into four pieces. So then your final step is you place each little dome onto your cookie sheet and you put them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes on 425. And now we wait. <laughs> Now that they're baked, we want to put in our butter and our jam. And the way you do that is you slice a piece of butter off of your cube of butter and you place it in the opening of the scone. And then you add one teaspoon of jam. And you close up the scone and you place it on the platter. These look so delicious. Thank you, Fisher Scones. Mm -hmm. I'll take you <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take this for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>